See, I remember Suge in a way like I'm being I'm about to get in the club and about 50 niggas just run right by me, go straight into the club. And uh yeah, and then, Debo, everything, yeah. Yeah, and everything just changed then. You, you the know, whole energy shift. Yeah, the whole energy. It was like so 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 I don't know, you know, Suge got his own podcast. Oh, he do. I was just gonna mention something about that shit. Yeah, so so uh, Suge got his own podcast. Um the worst shit I ever heard. <laughs> you ready? No, no, I'm saying not the worst shit I heard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about where Whack 100 said. Suge had to call him to bury his mother. Uh, mm. And he said, you know, I put it in my company name. Like, like you know, I did that for him. Like, you know, I ain't taking pride of that. I mean, that's what it is, you know. He asked me to, you know, you know, look out for him. And I said, so what you got on it? And he was like, you know, I ain't got nothing. And he was just like, all right, I got you. I'm going to take care of that. And it's just like, it, it fucked me up because I just buried my mom. And it was like, her wish, her 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 wish was, don't ever have a car wash. Don't put me on no car wash. Don't do not do this. Like, she had her demands. Like, hey, I better, whatever. I don't know how much money you got. I don't know what you got going. You better not, you, you better not make it look like, you get what I'm saying. You know how black folks is. We be flossing to the day we die. So she was just on some like, been I had no car wash. You been I be, nigga, you, you, I, nigga, I brought you in this world. I felt, I brought you in this world, nigga. You bring, you take me out, if, cause that's the way it goes. Like you know, your mother always, your mother, your mother want to die before you. Absolutely. She don't, wanna, she don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? So it was like for me being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day. That's what I was saying in the car. I was just going through my emotions. It was just like, she, 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 you know, if I don't see another dollar, if I never get a, if, you know what I'm saying? If I never get anything in life, I, God take it all from me. Never never have anything. I did what my mama wanted me to do. Like, damn. You know, even, and I did that on business. Like, I didn't ask not a nigga for a dime. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I ain't had to ask nobody for nothing. And it was just, and, and, and it was big. You know what I'm saying? She went out big. It was nice, everything. What the funeral man say? She had one of the uh, largest funerals she's seen in a while. And, no, but what else he said? How, how niggas paid that bill? He like, with no complaints. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Every dollar he, his model, how much? Whatever they needed. Whatever they needed. How much he caught? How much they caught? he go. And he was just like, man, y'all ain't complaining. Like, he was just like, man, I've never seen people like this. Man, he wanted to hang. Matter of fact, he ended up hanging out with us and yeah. wrecking his motorcycle being drunk <laughs> later on that night. But he was like really excited as in, I mean, y'all some good dudes, man. Like, I know she proud of y'all, man. This time it was just like That's dope. It was just like, damn. It goes back to Shug was having over hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. And 20 plus years later, you had to ask someone. Bury your mother. Wow. That's the worst. Like, like, as a man, I'm knowing that has to be the worst feeling. As a man, like, I had to ask another man for funding to bury my mom, knowing she seen me with hundreds of millions. Mm. And if, as a black man, if you don't look at that as in, if we don't get smart, even at those times, like, you have to put away money. You have to. Shit, put my, away money and pre-plan? Shit. That's my, one thing we don't do. But 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 it's like this. At the end of the day, we, we got to IRA. We got to, you get what I'm saying? They can't be out here that broke. It's just certain things, like, just morals of life. Like, before I just, please, $7, never. Like, no. It's like. You, you, you can't have, for for me in my mind, well, this, uh, this is what I think. For me to see a couple million, whatever, how many millions I've seen, I could never go back and ask a nigga for nothing. Mm. 
I'll be the, to me, it's just me like, either I'm going to starve or I'm going to wait for it to come again. I'm going to sell some shit I got. You know what I'm saying? It's 250000 on my wrist. And it's like, <laughs> I'm going to sell something. Something going to sell. Because at the end of the day, as a man, you, you, you could be the biggest gangster. You could be the whatever you are in life, man. But that man had to ask that other man to bury his mother. That just fucked me up big time. Like, and it didn't fuck me up when he asked. And it, it fucked me up because I thought about it driving. Like, damn. Listening to a song. Cause Roddy just did a record and he gave my mama a shout out. And it was just like, it was real emotional. Like, damn. You know, she loved Roddy. You know what I mean? Roddy even stayed with my mama on her floor. Roddy didn't even used to eat sandwiches, so my mama used to make them cheese toast sandwiches. And she, he used to be like, I don't eat that. And she gave him one and one day, and he was like, can I, can I get another cheese toast sandwich? <laughs> so he loved these cheese toast sandwiches she would make for him. And, you know, they had their relationship. And she treated him like a star before he even sold a record. You know she, what I'm saying? She, he was just telling me a story. She told, He said she, she had a dream that he was going to get Six Grammys or six nominations in that same year, he got six nominations. Wow, yeah, you just tell me that. Yeah, she's always talked to him about something. She's like, Do I get my dress ready? I'm for the Grammys. I'm like, Oh, Mama Sam, <laughs> we ain't made it yet, Mama, we ain't made it. But like she said, like everybody used to look at us like we made it, and to us, man, we we we, we didn't feel it, like as in it ain't that we felt it, it's our surroundings, man. You got to put yourself. In those surroundings, when you making it, because in our in our position as in black men from the hood, when when you make it, they say leave the hood. It's true. You should leave the hood because if you leave the hood, you gotta make it so pass, surpass all that where you can come back. And the only time you come back is to give. Right when, when you can. <laughs> but you're around the elite where they acknowledge that you're successful and you, 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 you know what I'm saying? So the thing is, that keep it real shit is out the window with me. It's like, I know it's too late, but my advice for the next person, when you make it, it ain't that leave, make it, then leave. It's make it and continue to grow where you can come back and give. But just make it where they they more of celebrating you than 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 uh than tearing you down. You get what I'm saying? Some people need to hear that. You need to be celebrated more than just hated, man. 